Welcome back. Parliament's Portfolio Committee has said it will meet next week to begin the process of shortlisting candidates to fill the eight empty positions on the SABC board. Parliament's Portfolio Communications Committee has received over 233 nominations for the positions. The board's been left unable to make legally binding decisions after several members resigned last year. The chair of the committee is Professor Hlengiwe Mkize. She's in our Cape Town studios now. Professor Mkize, good evening to you thank, and thank you so much for, for joining us on SABC News tonight. Uh, good evening, Stephen. Uh, good, uh, good evening to the listeners as well. What kind of people are you looking for for the SABC board? What kind of skills and abilities do you think they should have? What do you think the SABC board actually needs? Well, as uh, it was uh, captured in the advert, we'll be looking for critical skills. Of course, people uh, with a good track record of integrity, with no criminal record, and really the core thing is, the, is to look at the skills and of course representation in terms of the demographics of the country. There's an election coming, there are big decisions uh, that the current SABC board and its management have said need to be made in the near future. Uh, the SABC has problems that many people say need to be solved quite urgently. Do you know how long this process might take? Is it possible we'll have a board literally in the next uh, month or so? Uh, today, the committee w was looked at the critical steps that we have to take, and we were trying to e help the, the team, the management team, who is supposed to work on the program. Uh, we felt if we could be relieved from most res parliamentary responsibilities, we could start a process of shortlisting li as early as beginning of the week, and that will allow then the the management team to write to shortlisted people to come for interviews within a specific time. So we, it's going to be difficult. The timelines are very tight, but we do believe it's important for us to strengthen the board as we envisaged when we were sending out a notification for people to, to apply. Are you prepared to give us a date, a target perhaps? I won't hold you to it, but just a, a target that you'll aim for to try and fill these positions? Uh, we, it's very difficult before we get a program from the Secretariat, uh, but we, we were just talking generally as a committee, looking at a period of three to four weeks, including the vetting, uh, not, which won't be done by us, and of course the presentation of the names to Parliament, so we are hoping that we'll meet all the deadlines. The, the SABC has a, a legal obligation to report fairly, as I say, the elections are coming. Are, are you able to, to give us an, a, pro, a promise or perhaps an assurance that the people you'll appoint to the SABC board, they'll help the SABC to remain independent and impartial? Yeah, that's one of the things that we've been talking about with the management team, that Often that question has not been propped enough, but it's critical, given what we have learned uh, sometimes em emanating from these commissions, that sometimes journalists uh, could be bribed, and generally some leaders, public leaders, having difficulties with journalists covering certain stories. And so we're saying it's one area which we have to find a way of probing. Because if we fail to do that, it can comprom compromise the entity completely, especially in the context of looming uh, elections where they are supposed to really report and uh, inform uh, citizens of this country fairly and accurately whatever they need to know before they make up their mind about elections. There's also the problem of the corporation's finances at the moment. Are you, ex like everybody else, I think, expecting the finance minister to announce a loan guarantee in the budget tomorrow? Do you have any, any hints or secrets you can give us about that? Well, we, we, since last year when the, the, the board appeared before us, the committee strongly felt that it, it's critical for the a a SAPC to uh, be recapitalized so as to be able to perform this critical information, especially this year in the, uh, you know, pertaining to the national elections. But also besides that, the SAPC for too long has had problems with governance, 
has had problems uh, with good governance and has had uh, also problems with members resigning and partly we, we thought if they could be strengthened financially that will be the first step towards ensuring that it takes its rightful place. Of course, as an oversight committee, we have to be much stricter in terms of ensuring that uh, they don't slide back to the weaknesses they've had in the past, which led to the situation they are in now. And Professor Mkiza, you'll remember that incident. I, I don't know if you've actually been given an opportunity to speak about this publicly as the chair of the, of the Communications Committee. I'm talking about the Communications Minister, Stella Indabeni Abraham. She blocked an SABC camera, uh, one of our cameras, uh, in the Eastern Cape a couple of weeks ago. She offered a full and unreserved apology for her actions afterwards, uh, both through a statement and then publicly in an interview with another outlet. Uh, do you accept her apology after what she said? It was full and unreserved? Um, I, I saw it, I've spoken to her, and I've really been impressed. The manner in which she had been transparent, open about it, nobody had to dig anything. She just said, at the spare of the moment, that's how I, re I reacted. And I, I think her apology is genuine from talking to her. She fully understands the role of, of, of uh, the SAPC and I think she just, you remember that was also a political rally. It was in a government function. Uh, the political rallies, they've got their own dynamics. Professor, thank you very much indeed. Professor Flingiwe Mkize, the chair of Parliament's Portfolio Committee on Communications.